Many would argue that any exploitation of oil sands is at odds with global trend towards decarbonisation. What's your view on that? Well, as I said, you know, Alberta is going to be an energy producer for the foreseeable future, and, and the world will require fossil fuels for the foreseeable future. So, you know, what, what our responsibility is here is to put in place the policy architecture that we can lead. We can lead the rest of the Canadian provinces, we can lead in North America, we can uh, lead in Europe, you know. What we've put in place, uh, if everyone did what we are doing, yeah. uh, we would get there. Yeah. Uh, you know, the fact of the matter is we've taken on these, these, uh, these tough questions. We've exercised uh, leadership in the first six months of our mandate, yeah. um, and uh, you know we're very proud of, of that. Yeah. Uh, we we live in the world that we live in now. We haven't built the new world yet, yeah. uh, right? Yeah, yeah. No, and so you know we take that pragmatic approach uh, uh, because you know there are so many uh, Alberta and Canadian jobs that that, uh, that rely on this industry. Um, and we need to be thoughtful and careful and intelligently determined where we need to be on how we make those transitions. But when you talk about the, the medium term, Alberta is an energy producing uh, sector. Uh, how do you see getting out of it at all? I mean, it, it seems like it, it is essentially the backbone of the economy. Yeah, it certainly is. And, uh, you know, we, we understand that and we, we accept that reality because that's the world we live in. Yeah. Right? We haven't built the new world yet. No, uh, but we're and trying. so, <laughs> yeah, but, and, so, and so within that, then, what do you do? Well, we establish the emissions cap. What that does is that ensures that both uh, we as uh, provincial actors, with respect to some of our carbon price, we're putting that into uh, low emissions or, or uh, initiatives that are, are designed to lower emissions uh, from our fossil fuel development. We know the private sector is also undertaking these matters. Uh, but uh, that, that will form part of our efforts, absolutely. Um, and uh, you know, there will be a number of other uh, investments, both on the public science side, the commercialization side, that, that we undertake. As a, and we will have uh, an ability to, to be robust in our leadership efforts. Well, I, I've been interviewing a lot of climate scientists at this conference, and they've stated, and this you know, it tends to be what the bottom line is, is that as much as 80 to 90 percent of fossil fuels that have not been extracted should be left stranded if we have to limit the global warming to two degrees, not one and a half, but two. If you accept that climate change is an existential issue for millions of vulnerable people around the world, how do you rationalise the economic bene benefits against the risk of climatic degradation? Well, I, I think, you know, in the, in the short term, we're an energy producing province, so we need to find ways to, to transition away from high carbon uh, energy production to a lower carbon constrained or, and eventually, zero, and in many uh, cases, zero. Yeah. Uh, 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 Would that be carbon. this century? I mean, is there any kind of. Well, you know, again, we're in pretty early days here, right? And, and I, uh, we have, as a government, been fairly loath to set lofty targets that we have no policy framework in place to, to achieve at all. Uh, you know, it's, it's all very convenient to talk about what might happen in this century. Uh, our job as a provincial government is to put policies in place so that we know what's going to happen between now and 2020. Uh, uh, that's, that, you know, that's our mandate. That's a responsibility to the people of Alberta. I, I totally agree. And for, I don't think your job is easy. <laughs> but the, um, the emissions have come out of global emissions from all kinds of fossil fuels, and Alberta is significant. They don't stay in the, in the province, they, they go around the world. A lot of people are saying, look, our countries are sinking, whatever. We've got to decarbonize something. How do we get from where we are to there? Well, and, and I mean, our work at, at the subnational level has, has been, okay, let's work with other jurisdictions. Let's, let's find every single possible sort of, you know, cheapest emissions, if you will, in yeah. terms of the cost of the economy. Uh, let's make those. Let's be bold yeah. in making those, those, uh, those reductions. That's why we've done the coal fire phase out the way that we have. I mean, uh, these are not going to be easy matters either. Those are very tough internal conversations. Uh, and so, you know, we, we, are, we are being as bold as we possibly can on every file and we know that that will bend the curve on our, on, on, on our emissions profile. We know that. And we also know that the emissions cap and the performance standards in the oil sand will force producers yeah. to drive towards uh, much cleaner uh, extraction techniques and, uh, and, and we know that there will be uh, a, a public component, public science and also an R&D and commercialization uh, side of the efforts to decarbonize that that production. So I, I would say that that's those are you know within our the mandate of our government. 
those are pretty lofty goals, and I think we'll get there. I think there's a, there's a, a consensus in Canada that we needed to prepare our international reputation, that we could not go on with the, the, the policies of the past. Those, those, those policies at both levels of Conservative government, but both provincially and federally, were mistaken. Uh, and, and so there is an emerging consensus that the cost of doing nothing is far outweighed by the cost of doing something. And, and we find among um, progressive oil sands producers and, and others a real willingness to engage with, with our government's efforts on, on climate leadership. Yes. Uh, they know that they have to. Okay. And do you ever see a time when you're going to close these oil sands down and they're going to be out of business? Um, you know, I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's a fair question, right? The global economy is but moving in the a, ways even it, as it an is. Aspiration, I don't think that anyone wants to uh, shut down their main industry as an aspirational goal of government. But if it's harming, doing so much damage, and the rest of the world is trying. Well, I mean, we are, we are beginning the process of, of uh, uh, lowering emissions out of the oil sands as well. I mean, as I said before, we are an energy producing jurisdiction, uh, and uh, that is the, the underlying piece of the economy, right? Yeah. And so, you know, we have to be very, very thoughtful in how we undertake these things, right? And that's the, that's the public trust that elected me in the first place, right? It was not to shut down an industry, but was to, to find ways to, uh, uh, to grow uh, uh, economic growth, to grow uh, uh, insured, sustainable communities, all of those. The, the, that, uh, that, was, that was why the people of Alberta put their trust in us. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's been lovely to talk to you. Thank you. Take care. So Have a good day. Best of trip. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.